there seems to be a new political commentator that has become relatively famous lately for a lot of the wrong reasons. Now, the reasons for her opposition to these things that I'm, I'm going to talk about and her herself, you know, come, she doesn't seem to understand the reasoning behind it, and I've already explained a lot of it, but let me just get into it. So, uh, Tommy La uh, Laren, the new, she's this young, blonde, white co uh, news commentator for The Blaze. Now, many of you know that, might know that The Blaze is basically a right-wing, you know, rag, basically, commentator sort of thing for politics, and, you know, they've usually included a lot of stuff from there from, like, you know from Rush Limbaugh and, you know, uh, Glenn Beck on occasion, but usually Rush Limbaugh. It's a lot of, uh, basically the blaze is just pretty much that sort of uh, conspiracy theorist, just right-wing idiocy that basically can spout a bunch of rhetoric and not have a single ounce of fact to their entire program, to their entire blog, whatever the fuck it is that they, that they do, because I don't like to call them a news organization, because they're not, and basically, Laren was, has recently talked on a couple of different occasions about, uh, Colin Kaepernick and the whole conundrum following him after he refused to stand during the national anthem. What she refuses to understand is why Kaepernick did it, or maybe she does, and frankly, just because of her own white privilege and, frankly, racism herself, doesn't seem to understand anything. Now, you have to understand also that this young lady also, she's, she's fresh out of the University of uh, Nevada, Las Vegas. You know, she basically graduated there in uh, 2014, She's basically only been on the circuit about a couple of years, if not. So she's basically just getting her start. And, but the fact that this young woman is so ridiculously moronic and so, so misinformed and misrepresents the facts, misappropriates the facts, is a better way of putting it, is just absolutely ridiculous, and of course, this fits into the typical right-wing sort of mentality, you know, the white supremacist mentality that the, that the right-wing has, particularly commentators that, you know, work for The Blaze, or even Fox News to a lesser extent. In fact, I would probably take the word of a person off of Fox News more than I would the, credibil the credibility of The Blaze. I mean... <sighs> I have read some articles that were on The Blaze that were so terribly written and the facts just horribly represented that I, there were, it's like you feel like shooting yourself. It, it, like, it's like, put me out of this misery. Now, Laren has also, ma you know, made a lot of st statements and now, I'm going to basically kind of address some of those that she's made. She's spoken ill will about Colin Kaepernick saying that, you know, the fact that, you know, this movement basically of Black Lives Matter and stuff like that, and basically standing up for police brutality and against what is basically an apartheid regime, basically standing up against a government that does oppress people of color, um, yeah, she calls that sickening, which kind of expresses that whole, you know, white privilege supremacist sort of thing I was talking about. You know, Laren is, you know, she's the typical right-wing sort of, you know, female commentator, you know. She's basically speaking out against oppression when basically she herself is technically oppressed. She's privileged, but she's also oppressed herself. The very fact that she's a woman, she is oppressed, and she would probably also fail to 
uh, understand that, she would probably say that, you know, that she's a hard-working, independent woman, da 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 That may be true, but the people that you work with at The Blaze, I most likely would believe that your male counterparts are probably making, you know, significantly a little bit more than you are. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to learn if your paycheck is 78 cents less on the dollar than your male counterparts, but that's kind of irrelevant for this video. But she basically speaks about Colin Kaepernick in an ill will way because he refused to stand during the national anthem. Refusing to understand, though, the point that he has that right. Whether you agree with that right or not does not really fucking matter. You basically have the right to protest any way you did, as long as it's peaceful. And what he did was simply peaceful. It was a bourgeois liberal sort of, sort of protest. The man basically just sat down during the national anthem. Because he does not want to stand for a song, for the special song of a nation that basically continues to oppress people of color. And I have mentioned in the previous video, the previous video that I put out, I agree with that sentiment. I don't, you know, necessarily agree with the whole bourgeois liberal protest sort of thing, considering it doesn't do jag diddly squat. But for the sake of, you know, things, let me go on that, the record to at least defend him. And this has nothing to do with me being a Niner fan, this has nothing to do with me being from California, this has nothing to do with me or my politics whatsoever. This is simply me putting it into perspective for Tommy Laren and for The Blaze. And basically, Kaepernick, he, he sat down during the National Anthem and took in his sticking by his guns. He's sticking to, to what he believes in, even if it means the end of his career. He's willing to stand up for people of color, considering that he himself is of mixed race. So, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, you have to understand the reasoning why he's doing it. He's standing up because of all the incidents of police brutality, whether it was, um, the incident that happened just recently in Minnesota and uh, Baton Rouge, um, the um, Tamir Rice incident, um, Oscar Grant several years ago in uh, Fruitvale, um, just numerous different things. You know, there's so many incidents that have occurred with poli police brutality and Obviously, policing reform needs to be one of those things that needs to happen. Criminal justice reform is one of those things that needs to happen. And now, I don't know if Colin Kaepernick is standing up for all of that, but he obviously believes that something is wrong in this country, and there is, and that he's standing up for what he believes in, and that is that this system is broken. The justice system is broken and needs to be fixed. That's what he's standing up for. He's standing up for basically what needs to happen is reform and that basically the rights of people of color need to be respected. And, and staging a, a protest against the national anthem or the Pledge of Allegiance is actually a very, is a very minuscule bourgeois liberal protest compared to what I've seen in the past. You know, people get all uptight over friggin', over a freaking song. Yes, it's the national anthem of America, I get it. But, it, it's just a song. The Pledge of Allegiance is basically nothing more than a nationalistic, you know, mantra that we are basically forced to participate in, and if we don't, we're cast out, at, you know, as basically being un-American and unpatriotic and, you know, da 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 Well, that's fine. I don't want to be patriotic. And that's because patriotism 
usually is a very right-wing sort of thing. And if we even look it into the perspective of nationalism, technically, it, you know, it is a very fascist sort of mentality. It's a very fascist way of thinking. So, all I can, and then another thing that Tommy Lahren has also talked about is also the fact that, you know, this whole movement with the gay rights and trans uh, issues and stuff like that. A recent article, and let me bring that up for those. Uh, basically, she was saying that the lesbian uh, pro soccer pro should be grateful America doesn't throw pe uh, gay people off of buildings. Yeah, um, basically, um, Megan Rapinoe, who is a professional soccer player, decided to kneel during the national anthem in solidarity with Colin Kaepernick. And, of course, this is, again, all over the rights of not only people of color, but also the LGBT community, who, despite gains that they have made, are still vastly oppressed. And yet, Tommy Lahren does not believe that these people deserve rights. You know, she may not outright say that, but obviously that's what her and these people at the Blaze basically seem to think. They seem to think that, you know, that unless you're white, Christian, straight, you know, that you basically don't deserve rights. And of course, this has been the, the, the logical thinking of the right wing for numerous years now. And so... Laren just doesn't seem to understand what these protests are about. The only thing she's concerned about is that, oh, some athletes aren't standing during the National Anthem, they're not standing during the Pledge of Allegiance, they're un-American, they're unpatriotic, they don't love their country, and that they should get out. And yes, she actually does make that statement, that if you basically don't do a certain thing, if you don't believe what I believe, then you can, and if you think that America is so bad, get out. Well, that itself is a very quasi-fascist and ultra-nationalist sort of thinking to have. Because basically you're saying, okay, believe what I believe or leave. So basically people cannot express their freedom of speech, their freedom of religious expression, their freedom to basically petition the government for a redress of grievances. You know, that whole thing that's in the First Amendment. Or are you just too concerned about the protection of your gun rights to understand that, you know, there's people that actually have fought for First Amendment rights? And also, before she opens her mouth again, let me remind Tommy Lahren and other right-wing conservative twat nozzles that basically there are veterans that have stood up for Kaepernick, and even for Rapinoe. Why? Because their reasoning is they fought for this country. They put their lives on the line so that people like them had the right to protest whatever means they saw fit. Do they necessarily agree with what they're doing? No. In fact, there's a lot of Americans that don't agree with what Rapinoe and Kaepernick are doing, but they believe they have a right to protest. And that is the problem that a lot of people do not understand because there's this petty bourgeoisie nationalism and petty bourgeoisie patriotism in America. And that is the biggest issue here is that Tommy Lahren is a perfect example of that nationalistic, that ultra-nationalistic, that ultra-patriotism and that quasi-fascist fucking, you know thinking that exists in America, that exists particularly in the right wing in general. So, that's what I wanted to talk about. That's what I wanted to basically put into perspective. And to Miss Laren, may I suggest next time that you open your mouth or that anybody at the Blaze fucking does anything of substance, can you at least... Talk, go talk to the person you're, you're in question. 
Go talk to Kaepernick. Go talk to Rapinoe. Go talk to people on the street. Go talk to a goddamn veteran for once who actually stands up for these people's rights, whether they agree with it or not. Actually go talk to some people. Actually do some actual fucking journalism. Get your facts straight. And then you have a right to open your goddamn mouth. But I don't th expect that you're going to do that because, as I said, The Blaze is nothing but a conservative rag sort of outlet. It's not even journalism. It's not even news. It's just a fucking... It, it's just a propaganda piece for the GOP and for the, the right-wing conspiracy nuts. That's all it really is. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Porn.